So um, my name is Angela Guidry, and thank all of you guys for coming today. Um, I'm here with the Office of Recruitment. I'm actually one of the admissions counselors in the Dallas area, and today we're going to be doing a session about new student orientation. Yay! Everyone's excited, right? <laughs> okay, so I do want to mention a couple of people who will be in this meeting today, just so you guys can be a little bit familiar. We do have Leela here today, who is going to be interpreting. We also do have Courtney, who is going to be doing captioning for us. And then we have Ms. Brandy Van Zandt from the New Student Leadership Office, who will be talking to you guys about new student orientation. So just to keep in mind, um, just to also let you guys know, we do have a chat going on right now. I will be facilitating the chat. So if you do have any questions, you can just put them in the chat and we will answer all of those questions at the end of this session. I'm gonna go ahead and hand it off to Brandy and yeah, we can go from here. I'll mute myself now. <laughs> All right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Brady Van Zanden. I am the Director of New Student and Leadership Programs here at Lamar University. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit today about new student orientation. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so new student orientation is designed to help all new students with their transition to Lamar University. Um, so at orientation, you'll receive information about campus, um, ways to get involved on campus, departments that we have on campus, um, any academic information as far as classes to take, um, meeting your advisor, that sort of thing. Um, you'll get to meet fellow Cardinals and you'll hear from some faculty and staff at Lamar. Um, so this summer, um, with everything that is going on um, with uh, the COVID-19, um, we have moved all of our in-person orientation sessions um, to a fully virtual orientation. Um, so we'll kind of go through what that looks like um, and what will be happening at orientation, um, but we have moved it completely online. Um, so we will be having orientation in two parts and we'll get into that, um, but our first um, orientation kind of our virtual orientation will still be happening on the days um, that we had on our website before. So we will have two sessions in June um, and three sessions in July. And then if you are a transfer student, our virtual orientation will happen August 1st. Um, there is no fee for student orientation um, this summer, so it is free. Um, you will not have to pay anything for orientation. Um, and Please, if you haven't signed up yet, um, know that our June 20th session is full, um, but our rest of the sessions are still open. All right, um, so first thing that you should do once you are admitted to the university, um, the first thing you need to do is sign up for orientation. On our website, um, you'll see a button that says register for orientation. Uh, you'll click that button and you will need to use your LEA, which is your um, first half of your Lamar email. Um, you will need to make sure that your LEA account has been set up. So you'll need to do that first. And um, you should get this on your acceptance letter and I believe in an email as well. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Angela, <laughs> that's not correct. Um, but they should, you should get that once you've been admitted to the university. Um, so you'll need that to log into the reservation for orientation. Um, so you'll use that, you'll log in, and then you'll get to this screen, which is our um, form for orientation. Um, this form will not only be your reservation for orientation, but it also will give information to your academic advisor. So they will use this form to help kind of make your fall class schedule. So you'll begin the form. Um, you will select if you're a freshman or a transfer student. Um, and that's important to know based on which orientation you're going to take. Um, and you'll also wanna let your advisor know if you're gonna take summer classes, because um, they will help prepare your schedule for the summer and for the fall semester. You'll then click the orientation date that you'll want to attend. Um, please select a date that you have a few hours available for the virtual orientation. Um, so if you select June 27th, which is a Saturday, um, you will have to log in to a virtual orientation on that day. Um, so just pick whichever day is available for you to make sure that you can attend that virtual orientation. 
And then you'll see other pages that ask information. Um, and this is very important for your academic advisor. Um, so if you've taken the TSI or if you have AP credit, um, please make sure you list all. If you've already filled out the form, but then you get an AP credit or you need to add something about your TSI, you do not need to fill out the form again. Um, you'll just email and talk to your advisor when they email you. Um, you do not need to submit the form again because then it counts you as trying to go to orientation twice. And I don't think you'll want to do that. Um, so once you fill out that form, you add in all that information, um, you will complete it and then you will be registered for orientation. Your advisor will also get that information to help prepare for your fall class schedule. All right. Um, so orientation is going to take place in two different parts. And um, you're going to have one part, which is the online orientation course. Um, so this is a course within our Blackboard system. Um, Blackboard is how we do all online courses. Um, so you will get put into an online orientation course. Um, and then you will have a virtual Zoom meeting on the day that you selected of orientation. So if you select June 27th, on June 27th, you would do that virtual orientation. So what does that look like? Um, so the online orientation, which is in Blackboard, um, you'll get access to that course a week before your scheduled date. So if you're coming June 20th, a week before that, you'll get an email and that will have information on how you log in to Blackboard. It will also have information on your Zoom virtual uh, orientation. So in that email, you'll get a week before and um, it will have a lot of information of what you need to do, what your next steps are. In that orientation course, um, we will cover information about resources, departments, getting involved. Um, it will have everything that you need to know before getting to campus in that course. Um, and then you can access that all summer, all fall, anytime you have questions about what a department does or who you should contact, you can refer back to that online course. All right. Um, and our virtual orientation, um, so it will be on whichever day that you select. Um, and then you will get a, in that same email the week before, um, you'll get a link to your Zoom meeting. Um, depending on your major, you'll either have a morning or an afternoon session. Um, it will be about two hours. Um, you'll do one hour of meeting with an orientation leader getting to know other students, um, having more of the fun, what is Lamar, learning about traditions, history of Lamar, um, and then you will meet with your academic advisor about your major, um, what classes you need to take within your major, your degree plan. Um, you'll also hear from success coaches who are here to help you make sure that you are successful while you're at Lamar, um, and you'll get a lot of Lamar information. So this is our Time for you to get to know other students, uh, meet a upperclassman, engage, learn a lot more about uh, Lamar through our virtual orientation. So it'll be similar to a Zoom call just like this, um, but you'll get to interact, ask questions, um, play some games, things like that. And that will happen on the day that you select. Um, you'll also get an email depending on your major of what time you will do that virtual call. Um, so then after orientation, you'll um, connect to your group um, either by opting into a group me. So we're going to create group me's for um, all of our incoming students. Um, at orientation, you will meet with a orientation leader who is put on a team. We have four different teams. Um, and through the summer and into our first week of school, um, we have what is called first year games. Um, so each team competes in different events, different games, um, trying to earn points. And then whichever team wins gets a prize at the end of our week of welcome. So once you're done with orientation, your group leader will tell you what color group you're in. Um, and then we'll have a group me for that group if you were interested. 
Um, they'll be doing different socials over the summer, playing games, um, different things like that. And then you can also sign up for our first year games. We will also be doing um, a series of workshops and videos to connect you to resources and departments. Um, so throughout the summer, we'll be showing you the different student organizations we have on campus, um, things to do once you get to campus, how to get involved, what's happening here. Our orientation leaders will do different videos of here's what's going on at LU, here's what you need to know before your first day of school, here's what you should pack if you're living on campus. Um, so we'll be doing different workshops to keep you engaged throughout the whole summer. Um, one of the exciting things, once you get back to campus um, in the fall, first, you need your classes. Um, so for a lot, of, a lot of questions we have is when do you get your fall classes? Um, the Undergraduate Advising Center will actually be sending an email to you um, within the next few weeks if you're registered for orientation. If you have not registered yet, a couple weeks after you register, they'll send you an email um, with your fall classes. So they will, from the form that you filled out and talking with you about what your major is and what you need, um, they will add you into your fall classes um, and then send you an email of where to find that, what you need to do next. And um, that is a different office, that's the undergraduate advising office. Um, and they will be reaching out to you via your Lamar email. So it's very important that you access that and then you check that email. Um, and then once you get that from advising, you can always find your class schedule in your self-service banner. So once you get added into your fall classes, then you can check um, your self-service for your class schedule. Then once you get to campus, um, for the first week of school from the day that we move in on August 15th um, until that next Saturday, it's what we call Week of Welcome. Um, so Week of Welcome is a week long of events, free events for students. Um, so we have everything from casino night to, let's see, um, athletic events, um, convocation. It's just a week of events and throughout that week, um, if you are participating in the first year games, your team will be winning points throughout the week of the different events. So it's a lot of fun. These were our teams from last year. Um, so we do a first year game night where you play tug of war, it's relay races, all to get different points for your team. Um, so it's a lot of fun and something that our orientation leaders really look forward to. Um, so if you're interested in the first year games, you can definitely sign up for that. Um, if you are a transfer student, um, you will get added into your uh, Blackboard orientation course in June, um, and then you will need to reach out to your advisor to go ahead and get your classes scheduled for the fall. Um, so let's see, I think. Um, so if you are interested to connect with our office, um, we obviously have all the social medias, um, please send us an email if you have questions, give us a phone call. Um, we are here. We know there's a lot of new changes and a lot of things going on. Um, so please reach out, let us know what you need. Um, it's a lot of new things for our office as well, um, but we are here for you and we want to make sure that everyone coming to Lamar is successful. So any questions? I didn't see any questions come through the chat for anything. So I guess no one has any questions. I think you did a great job of explaining that. And that's why there's no questions <laughs> coming in right now. But I did want to remind you guys that if you do want to stay engaged with us, please go to lamar.edu slash visits. We do have a lot of virtual things, experiences going on right now. I know um, Admitted Student um, Day is coming up pretty soon. We have three different dates for that. We also do have um, other videos to help you guys stay engaged. If you want to see what the dorms look like or get it, like do a virtual tour or anything like that, definitely please make sure you go to our website. And I just did see a question. Um, the student asked, will we be notified as the events come? Are you talking about um, this student, are you talking about during Week of Welcome or which events are you referring to exactly? I was a little unclear about that. 
And then also we had another question, a student asked, how can I access um, my Lamar email account? So to access your Lamar email account, you would simply just go to lamar.edu, then you would click Lamar, um, Lamar Connect, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. And then once you get to Lamar Connect, you'll see two options for either student or um, employee. You will click the student option and then you should see LU email as an option in there. Once you click that, you will um, be able to log in and you will log in using your LEA username. That should have been sent to you whenever you were admitted to the university in your um, admitted student packet. Um, if you are having trouble locating that, you can always contact your admissions counselor as well and we can help you retrieve that LEA username and the password you will create that through your self-service banner and there were some very very detailed instructions that should have came through in your admitted student email I mean packet as well telling you how to reset that password because it can be a little bit difficult sometimes but if you are having issues with that password please reach out to your admissions counselor and we can help you get through that process as well um, and the students Oh, we'll be notified as the events come to the sessions online. We have been sending some emails about those different events and those sessions. Brandy, did you want to speak about your sessions about? Yes. Um, so we will also on our website, which is just lamar.edu slash orientation, um, we'll put up a list of our virtual sessions that we're doing extra throughout the summer. Um, so not the online, not the actual orientation sessions, but the extra sessions. And um, we'll have a calendar listed with a link on there. And um, we'll also, our social media is probably the best way other than our website to know about those events. Um, and once you register for orientation, we'll be sending out emails through that um, as well. Okay. All right. Well, if there are no more questions, I think we can go ahead and wrap up this session. I definitely want to thank Ms. Brandy for her time today coming and talking to us about new student orientation, as well as Courtney for captioning and also Leela for interpreting for us. Um, if you guys do want to watch this um, session again later, we will be sending this out to you guys after um, a little bit later. I think we're going to be emailing this video out to you guys. But that is all that we have for you. And that's it. And welcome to Cardinal Nation. I hope you guys are getting excited right now. No things are crazy, but definitely still, you know, keep that excitement, okay? And that's it. All right. Thank you guys for joining.